we have this uh, story from Srimad Bhagavatam, which every one of us in India knows, where Krishna, the naughty young kid, who's always praying, playing pranks, who's always out there making, you know, having fun at others' expense, at one point takes a handful of mud and eats it. And his elder brother Balrama runs to Yashoda and say, Mommy, see, he's eating, you know, handful of sand. Krishna is doing this again. Can you come? And then, of course, a troubled mother runs to Krishna and asks him, like, why are you eating sand? And he said, no, they all lie. I am not eating. Of course, she says, open your mouth. And instead of Krishna saying, ha, 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 he just gives a darshan of the infinite universe. Yashoda could see stars, planets, oceans, all that was all that is, all that will, will ever be. She could see herself inside Krishna's mouth, seeing into Krishna's mouth. And the divine avatar floods that cosmic vision that of the you know inner kingdom with Maya and Yashoda comes out of it and again becomes a troubled mother and just let let him be let's Krishna, let Krishna be. But that's a story which we can always remember that the infinite in kingdom lies within ourselves.